Good evening, sports fans, and thank you for joining us on Sports Night East Texas. I'm David Gibson. A win the Saints. Go marching in. Come on, Saints. Pull out the win so the Cowboys can get one step closer to that number one seed. The title number nine has a nice ring to it. Am I right? You see what I did there? Well, head coach Scott Surratt and his Carthage Bulldogs moved to 9-0 and in state title games. And he said he couldn't be more proud to see the seniors out on top. And I told everyone that the Astros were going to win their World Series. Shout out to Houston. I got to throw up the age because that's my city. And I'm about to dance for my city. Hey, that's all for sports, Lauren. We'll send it back to you because we are the champions. Hey, Garrett, the music is bumping. This game is going to be jumping later. The Chapel Hill Bulldogs take it on the Gilmer Buckeyes. This stadium should be packed later. Come on, Dak. It's time to ball out like I know you can. Adrian went to the USA Boxing National Championship in Lubbock and punch by punch took home first place. Well, Mahomes, you did it. You pulled it out, all the believers and all the doubters. You know, people were doubting you had an ankle injury, but you balled out. Yes, sir, I knew you was going to do it. As Calvin prepares for the Junior Olympics, he throws about five times a week. And a goal of his is to throw it into this woods. <laughs> oh, boy, you got to go ball out once again. See, I got the jersey. I believe. I told you yesterday you were going to ball out. Yes, join us right back here next week for more sports action. Remember, peace, love, and blessings. Have a great night. Let's go, Mahomes. Woo! That was go. unbelievable. He was throwing touchdowns left and right. The defense stepped up big, pressuring Brady all night. Mm -hmm. Hey, Gary, everybody's dressed to impress in their Sunday best because it's the Earl Campbell Tyler Rose Award. And tonight, we'll see who will join this growing fraternity. Beast Texas, it's rivalry week on the gridiron. And you know how rivalry games get. They get chippy, a lot of pushing and trash talking. But who will get bragging rights? Will it be TJC or Kilgore College. You on and your Deeney. He's gonna blast this one to deep center field and look at this rocket go into orbit for the 450 foot home run. The Astros take the three to one lead late. And Tinson drops back the pass and he throws it all the way to the end zone. Now look at my man Tate go up and snag this one over the defender for the score. AJ McCarthy drops back the pass. He throws it short, but it's picked off by TCU's Bud Clark. He's taking it the other way down the sidelines. Nobody will catch him. He takes it in for the score. Tomlin finds Elijah Grimes. He's on the elbow. He spins, does a one dribble pull up. You know what that is. That's cash right there. What a move by the junior. Overcoming obstacles is nothing new for Case and Weatherton. Seeing him persevere and overcome all the challenges that he's faced over his years. The Henderson sophomore has lived his whole life with just one leg. But in just a short amount of time, practicing a new sport, he's headed to state in the seated shock put. I didn't think I was going to go to state my first um, my first year of it because I've only been practicing for a month, so I was I was I was just shocked by it. Started taking on a totally new task, and then conquering the, the things that he has within a short amount of time. Like I, I'm very proud of him. Kaysen credits his perseverance and never quit attitude to a mother's love, telling him, "You can." We don't use can't. Can is not in our vocabulary. You know, we can find a way, but we're not going to use the word can't because anything can be done. And I was like, I can't do it, and she was like, If you can't, you never could. So I was like. That, that really got my mind, and it just got me to go for it. The goal Kaysen set for himself is to do his best and make the podium at the state meet. If I make the podium, it's, it's, it's going to be crazy. Like I'll, I'll probably be, I'll probably be running around everywhere. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. He wants to be the best at everything he does, and so I know that'd be huge for him. So what should we learn from his journey from powerlifting to shot put? Kaysen says never doubt yourself and just give it your best. I hope people see that his drive and his determination and people can eliminate excuses from their life and things that might be holding them back or uh, reasons why they can't get something done. At the end of the day, you're still practicing, you're still trying your hardest, so it's like you're still doing better than what you did the last time you did something. Kaysen throws Friday at 1230 in Austin, adding yet another chapter to an already incredible story. Everyone's goal at the beginning of the season is to make it to state. But for Carthage, it's the standard. And last week, they were trailing late in the ball game for the first time all year, and the Bulldogs knew they had to get the job done. Uh, yeah, we stayed consistent. You know, we stayed uh, doing our plan. You know, even if we, um, you know, mess up, you know, you got to come back and bounce back, and uh, I think we did that pretty good. We were still confident in ourselves. We know as long as we do, our, do things right, we should have a good chance to win. So we knew if we stay composed and do what we were supposed to do, we could come out on top of the ball game. It felt real good. It felt like... The seniors, you know, I really think about the seniors at the time. You know, this is their last go around, so just want to do what I can for the seniors. Will the dog stay the course under pressure and score with eight seconds left to beat Glenn Rose? And when the final buzzer sounded, 
Coach Scott Surratt says it was a weight lifted off his shoulders. Just a relief, really, and here we go again, and we're excited about it and more excited than I've ever been to go back because I know I may not have many more. It's pretty fun to play my last, to get ready to play my last game with my guys. Um, it's a surreal moment. Uh, it's my third time going, so it's, it's pretty yeah, it's good to get back to where we belong. Yes, Coach, here we go again. The Carthage Bulldogs are heading to their ninth state title in 10 years. Coach Surratt has built a dominant program in East Texas. We set a winning culture and our, our players believe in it. We, they believe in the process. They believe in the daily routine and winning the daily battle. And I think that's how we get it done. We practice every day together. You really get to know your guys and you got to put your uh, heart on the line for them every night, every Friday night. Surratt is often referred to as the Nick Saban of East Texas and players say it's an honor to play for such a legendary coach. It's been a great experience. He's taught me a lot about football and that I'll carry when I go when I go on to college. And I mean, he's the goal. I mean, the ring speaks for itself. He's very respected around here, so you know, just being around him every day is pretty cool. As Carthage prepares for Friday, the mindset is simple: stay locked in. We're gonna give it all we got. We're gonna give it heck, and uh, we're gonna have uh, great practices and uh, have fun. Try to have fun on the way doing it. Because when it comes to Carthage football, state championships aren't just the goal; they're the standard. Reporting in Carthage, David Gibson, k to k Sports. It's always good to come back here. You know, um, I don't get to come back much when I when I do come back. It's all love, man. I just love being back here. It means a lot. You know, this home, this where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? You always want to represent home and your people, your family, your friends, kinfolk, cousins. Hey, hey, hey. You know, we breed toughness here. Uh, I think one of the biggest things Coach King, you know, I always hear him saying was Lobo up, you know, and that's basically saying, hey, no matter what's going on, it's time to dig in and get through it. So I've always kept that mentality, and I think that's what helped me get through some of my toughest times. You don't see that a lot, you know. You don't, you don't see three players from the same high school in the NFC Championship game. Not only just being there, but actually contributing and playing, you know, so it, it, it's surreal. And you can't write it no other way. <laughs> you know, we all coming from Longview. Uh, like I said, East, East Texas is so small, and uh, we're all from Longview, and we all to make it to the big stage, and we're all playing in the NFC Championship game. That, that just doesn't happen. Like, you can't write that up. It's, it's a dream. It's sick, bro. It's crazy, you know what I mean? But that just points to the talent here in Longview, man, the talent here in East Texas. Um, the coaches here at Longview High School, man, it's, it's, it's been a great deal, so blessed, bro. Have three in the same ball game, that's kind of unique. Uh, I don't know if that's ever happened before, but n not for Longview. And uh, those guys, you know, Jamichael, uh, Traven, and, and Trent, uh, you know, they represent Longview every, uh, every day to, to the best that they can represent it, and we're just proud to have them as Lobo. It's a dream. <laughs> it's so surreal. Like, I'm still living in the moment. Uh, I, I, words can't explain, man. I cried after the Super Bowl, man. I don't, I don't even cry. I'm not an emotional person, and like this to tell you something. <laughs> We're proud of Trayvon and his progression and, and where he is today, and getting him a Super Bowl ring. You know, even though he, it came at our expense, you know, I, I'm, I'm super happy for him, man. I'm just, I'm over proud of, of, of the products that came out of this community, and um, you know, it looks like our future is bright.